Hey booty fam. I might look really plain right now, but I'm about to show you a brine that you can make for your chicken that's gonna make it turn out not so plain. In my case right now, I'm about to use drumsticks, but you can use any kind of chicken that you like. Okay, so here I have my two cups of cold water, the bowl and the whisk that we're gonna use to combine everything, a cup of brown sugar, a cup of regular granulated sugar, a cup of white wine, and in this bowl I have my seasoning. One teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, a whisper of allspice, and a half a teaspoon of sage and salt and pepper. What I like to do first is combine my two sugars in the bowl. So, brown sugar, and now I'm gonna throw in my seasonings. And all I'm gonna do now is whisk all of that together. So now we have our bigger bowl, we're gonna mix our liquids in with the white wine, and then our two cups of cold water. And now we're just mixing in our sugar and spices. Now right here, I just have some drumsticks that I've scored with a paring knife. And the reason I score it is so that the brine can get down in there and the chicken gets flavored throughout. So now I just put my brine in this pourable measuring cup to make it easier to pour. With some large Ziploc bags, let's take the brine, and pour a little bit at the bottom of the bag. So now I'm gonna place some of the drumsticks in the, down in the bag in the brine. And I have two bags, so we're gonna be splitting this in two batches. All right, so I have seven in this one. I'm gonna put six in the other one. But all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pour the rest of the brine save some for the other half. So we'll save about two cups for the other half. We'll start closing the Ziploc bag. And you want to also, while doing that, get as much air out as you can without it overflowing. We're going to fold it over and I'm gonna sit it in my bottom drawer of my fridge and let it sit for two hours. But if you don't have that much time, you can definitely just let it sit for at least 45 minutes minimum. Now I'm just doing the other bag. Make sure that you've cleaned and disinfected everything that that chicken touched. We don't want to get salmonella around here. Now I'm just going to let that brine and then I'll show you guys how it turned out. Hi guys, so the chicken has came out the oven already and we're going to go ahead and plate it. Just finish with some flake salt and some fresh parsley. Do you hear that? Oh my gosh. Really juicy from the brine. Hmm. It's sweet from the brown sugar. But it also has this amazing kick from the cayenne and smoked paprika. And then that burst of freshness from the parsley just, ugh, it's heartwarming. All right, guys, follow for more recipes. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to see how stuff like this is made. And thank you for joining me on this journey. Bye, foodie fam.